こんにちは、日本の皆さん。今日は、えっと、パブコンというカンファレンスに参加していて、皆さん大好き、ゲイリーにちょっといろいろ質問したいと思います。So, have you tried a good AI chat called BART in、yes. internal test? Yes. So, I don't think you can、uh, reveal its、uh, functions at the moment, but what can you say about it at the moment now? I mean,、um, well, I can't say much about it, but we've seen a lot of tools that are using large language models, like,、uh, for example, ChatGPT is there. And most of the ideas that we've seen are very similar in nature.、Mm-hmm. Um, so you put in a question or a request、uh, to the large language model, and then you get back something. And the、uh, BARD is not dissimilar from that. It's very、um, similar in nature to that.、Mm-hmm. But it's worth Remembering that BARD is not launched publicly yet.、Yep. So I don't know what the finished product will look like、mm-hmm. because, well, it's not ready yet for、uh, public consumption. Can we have a high expectation BARD? So at Google, we are trying to launch the highest quality possible、mm-hmm. um, at that certain time. And it's not different with BARD either.、Mm-hmm. So we are aiming to launch a product that will basically delight users,、um, not something that will question. Uh, whether we can do our job or not. Okay, okay thank you. So, Harvey from Microsoft announced the integration of a Bing Webmaster tool with a Bing AI chat. What about Google? Will you let us monitor BARD in such console?、Uh, good question.、Uh, because BARD is not launched yet,、mm-hmm. I don't think that we can actually answer that question. Ultimately, our goal is to provide both creators and Users the, the best experience,、mm-hmm. and I imagine that Search Console will be an integral part、mm-hmm. of that. Okay, next question is、uh, Can Google identify AI generated content?、Um, so, if you are thinking about from the quality perspective,、yep. like should we try to identify AI generated content from quality perspective, then the answer is probably we don't have to、mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. because. We, what we care about is the, the actual quality of the content. It's like we don't particularly care how you generated the content or how you created the content. What we care about is that the content that you put out on your website or on social media or whatever、um, is actually high quality. I see. So that means that, means that、uh, what matters is, matter is not、uh, whether the content is, is created by AI or a human. But、uh, the what matter is that the content is of high quality or not, right? Yes. I see. Yes. I, see. Right. I mean, in, in many cases, that will mean that there will be a human reviewing the content that was created by one of these large language models、um, because these large language models don't actually have a sense of quality. So they will need some supervision、mm-hmm. from, from a person. What is supervision? Like someone who reviews.、Mm-hmm. Um, the content、ah, that, that was, that that was pro-、uh, provided. So basically,、uh, for example, if you are writing for,、uh, for your site, then you generate something with chat、uh, or with any large language model.、Um, and then you would go through what it wrote and try to make sure that it's actually accurate and of high quality. Okay, I see. So doesn't it really matter whether the content is written by a human or a, an AI as long as the quality is high quality? I, I think that's accurate.、Mm-hmm. Um, I, th- I think what we ultimately have to care about is the quality of the content、mm-hmm. and not what or who created it.、Mm-hmm. I, see. I see. What if the content written by a human and the content written by AI are equally relevant and high quality? So, does the difference in author matter in search? I would say no. Ultimately, what we care about is that we give users the Answers that they are looking for. In most of the cases, that will be a link to a website、mm-hmm. uh, nowadays. And whether the content was produced, the high quality content that you described was produced by a human or by an AI, doesn't actually matter because our goal is to help the user find the information on your site. I see. So, what are your suggestions for the do's and don'ts when using AI, AI chat like、uh, ChatGPT or、uh, Bing chat for SEO? Um, I think the, the, the biggest recommendation is to use or, or to review the content that was produced.、Um, that should be integrated in everyone's workflow, and someone will need to ensure that the, con- that, that the content is high quality.、Mm-hmm. If you think from a newsroom's ex-、um, point of view, like for example, take Nikkei,、um, then there will be editors who are reviewing what the journalists、mm-hmm. 
wrote, when you are creating content with an LLM, you are the editor. So basically you are reviewing what the large language model wrote for you. Mm -hmm. And then you decide whether you need to improve that or you, you can just publish it as is. Of course, this will require expertise from yeah. you. Yes, yes. Because you will need to also, re probably you will want to review it for um, expertise. So is it giving correct information? Is it giving good information, usable information? And at that point, it doesn't really matter if it was written by you or the chat chip or um, large language models, because if you reviewed and you put your expertise into it yeah. in the review process, then basically you just skipped one step, which is yourself typing up the article. So uh, I think we need expertise uh, when reviewing the AI generated content. So in that sense, you don't, you wouldn't recommend uh, relying on relying on uh, AI uh, when we create when creating a topic that we don't know much about? I think so. Um, so if you think about, um, like the simplest question is uh, right now would be something like, when, when is BARD launching, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, if you ask any of the large language models, they will probably try to give you an answer, even if there is no information about this mm -hmm. on the internet, right? Yeah. Um, if you sat down as a journalist, if you sit down, and you start writing something, you will not try to make up a date. No. You will try to work around and just explain that there's no launch date um, at this moment. We don't know when it's going to launch. Um, and that's very different from what large language models would do. So there are things for which large language models can be an excellent source. Um, probably it can write about dinosaurs, for example, or uh, Tsukemen, um, but probably they can't really predict or they can't write about something that there's just no information about. Mm -hmm. So this is the last question. So does Google use AI for anything other than ranking? For example, to determine how often to crawl the, crawl the URL or uh, which, URLs, which URLs to index? Um, I mean, I can't answer that exactly, but yes, go, uh, inside Google, AI is used extensively. I like on the projects that I work on or work with, I know that they are all using AI for something. Mm -hmm. I, I can't say if it's for cross scheduling or for indexing, but it's mm -hmm. like, it's very, very mm -hmm. uh, widespread. Mm -hmm. So I know you don't like JavaScript. Nope. You, th you think uh, it's evil. So how about AI? Do you like AI? I think AI is, um, is as evil as uh, <laughs> like uh, any other tool that we have. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you take a smartphone, for example, is that evil? No, I don't it's think not. So. Like you can use it for evil, yep. but ultimately the, just the tool mm -hmm. is not evil. Mm -hmm. So in the same sense, AI is not by default evil. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use it for bad things, but you can also use it for creating excellent um, epic things with it. It's much more efficient at certain things, like for example, going through large amounts of data finding patterns, it's much better at these tasks than, um, than humans. So why not use it for that? Find patterns in large sets of data, see how um, or what you can do with the patterns that it finds. So it's important uh, to, for what purpose and how we use AI, yes. right? Yeah. Yes, you got it. Hi, Gary. Hi. I'm Rio. Nice I'm to meet a you. colleague of Kenichi. And there's one question about, uh, also for me, it's about AI. and. So as you said, there is no like, um, so when it, it, it doesn't matter if the content is written by AI or written by human, as long as the content is really helpful and the quality is really high, right? But I would say the quality is if there is no like a um, um, industry standard or like there's no like, you know, a precise checklist, yeah. like if you fulfill this, if you fulfill this, then you, your content is, your content is high quality. There's no like standard of it. Right? Yeah. So that's why like people are talking about double EAT, EAT, right? And from my understanding, I think experience matters a lot when it comes to the content, if it's written by AI or human, because mm -hmm. like, you know, AI cannot like write their own experience in the content. But what if AI writes the, like makes up the, the experience, for example, like the AI says, so I went to this place, I ate this and like experienced this and here's the proof of it. 
it, it, you can you can't tell like Google cannot tell if it's like a, a fact or just a bullshit, right? How is it even possible to like detect it or like is there any way to like disband it or something? Yeah, that's a fantastic question. <laughs> um, wow, um, I don't think there's an easy way to detect these fallacies, and in many cases it probably would be also impossible mm -hmm. um, because the more these language models large language models uh, source their their output from from the web, mm -hmm. the more natural it will start to look like. Mm -hmm. Right now, you can probably tell, as a human, you can tell that it was written or something was written by, a, by an uh, LLM, especially in languages like Japanese mm -hmm. or Korean or any of the languages that have um, uh, different tones. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, but I, I can see that we will end up eventually with, um, complex enough language models that will prevent us from identifying that something is written by an AI or not. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, that's the ultimate goal, right? Yeah. Um, that we have a general AI mm -hmm. um, that will that we can't tell apart. Like when we are communicating with it, we think that it's a human. Mm -hmm. So that's what we learned from science fiction. Um, that's what we learned from anime, for example. And um, at that point, it might actually not matter. Because at that point, what we are looking for is identifying whether something is factually correct or not. Mm -hmm. Right now, we might not want to do that. Search engines in general might not want to do that because it's a very tricky business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we are rather thinking about is whether we can provide users a way to identify the answers or the correctness uh, themselves. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you watch the, that keynote from Paris, then uh, Prague our SVP, our boss, was uh, talking about Nora, uh, no right answer. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly for things where there's no consensus on the internet that something actually happened or something is actually the way or it can be defined in just one single uh, way. So, for example, if you ask for uh, how can I drive from Austin, Texas mm -hmm. to um, California, there are many roads that you can take. Yeah. Like there's a scenic road, there's a dessert, uh, mm -hmm. dessert road. Uh, desert road. There's um, routes, Route 66. Um, there are many. Yeah, yeah. So there's no right answer. Mm -hmm. And similarly, like we can find other topics that can be similar. Mm -hmm. um, basically, can be answered in many ways. If the AI makes something up, then ultimately, I think right now it's down to the user to decide whether what they got is accurate or. Oh, not. okay. So now it's up to users. But in the future, Google might want to, or Google want to detect that and maybe you will like start banning it mm. like um I, so I, I don't know what the future mm -hmm. will look like so I, I wouldn't say that we want to go there yeah I, I don't know what we will do mm -hmm. but identifying factually incorrect things something that we are thinking about mm -hmm. um, I don't know if there's a solution for it okay then that's all for me okay all right thank you thank you so you got that you are dating it thank you for Gary answering for all Complicated questions. Thank you for I having me. That. It was a pleasure. Yep. Thank so, you. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, sorry. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs>